What if there were new information that would blow your mind and longest held beliefs about who we are? Yeah, kind of like Neo in the Matrix. Would you want to take the red pill and wake up to the truth? On this episode of The Ripple Effect, we're going to introduce an amazing man who Dr. Deepak Chopra calls a rare blend of scientist, visionary, and scholar with the ability to speak to our minds while touching the wisdom of our hearts. Dr. Wayne Dyer calls him brilliant and insightful, one of our great visionaries. We're going to discuss how new scientific discoveries are showing that Darwin and Newton had it wrong. In fact, many of the greatest issues facing us today are a result of the false, outdated assumptions of science. We'll also reveal a secret, scientifically proven power that resides inside all of us that we can use together to actually heal the planet. Adjust your frequency and join us for The Ripple Effect. Hi, welcome to The Ripple Effect, the show that leads you to transformational resources that you need to know about. My name is Scott Helton, founder of Cafe Namaste, a place to discover and discuss life's most important questions. Joining me today is my good friend Ryan Nichols, breakthrough coach from ryannichols.com. How you doing, Ryan? Very good, thanks, Scott. Really good to be here. Uh, looking, I've been looking forward to this chat for a while now. Uh, we've got a pretty interesting guy that we're talking about today. Tell us a bit about him. Yeah, today we're going to talk about a guy named Greg Braden. Greg Braden is an internationally renowned pioneer in bridging science and ancient wisdom and the real world. He's a computer geologist and systems designer who's even worked for NASA in the U.S. Department of Defense. For more than 27 years, he's explored the world's greatest mystical and mysterious places. So he's extensively studied these ancient spiritual traditions and texts and even spent time living with the native cultural people around the world. And by doing so, he's learned many of their secrets from the elders. Greg Braden is the, the guy for the skeptics. He does a great job merging science with this other ancient wisdom and, and information that he's pulled all together. And, and he's well respected for what he has created and, and, and shared. He has lots of publications and YouTube videos. Uh, and in fact, you've actually met him, Scott, isn't that right? That's right, I was lucky enough to get to see him speak in person and uh, even get to meet him afterward. Um, he's just a really great guy, really down to earth, uh, but so brilliant. He's uh, so eloquent in the way he, he merges all those things, you know, science and mysticism and ancient wisdom into, you know, a real believable message. So that's what I really like about him. Some of what he says can be controversial. What he writes about can be controversial. Yet he backs everything up with the science and the evidence to support his claims. He shares the scientific facts that are actually being ignored by the major media. You know, that's, that's the big thing that science is supposed to adopt the new truths when the old ones are proven incorrect. But this hasn't happened. He says that right now science is showing us that our current generation is facing the greatest number of crises uh, than any other generation in history. And in order for us to, to not destroy ourselves, we really need to have a fundamental paradigm shift in terms of our understanding of how the world works and how we work and our role within this environment. Yeah, he does give us hope, though, that we can actually come out better on the other side if we're willing to let go of the old ways of uh, thinking and believing and adopt the new understandings uh, that we and our world operate much differently than we're led to believe. As Einstein said, we can't solve the problems of our time using the same level of thinking from which they were created. We, we must make a leap in consciousness. And this is what Greg Braden shares. That's right. He talks about the five false assumptions of science. And those are, number one, evolution explains life and in particular human life. That's a false assumption. Number two, civilization began about 5,000 years ago. Also false. Number three, consciousness is separate from our physical world. That's also false. Number four, the space between things is empty. And we know that's not true. Number five, nature is based on survival of the strongest. And Darwin was definitely wrong. Number one, the missing link is still missing. The truth is we don't really know where we came from. This came as a bit of a surprise to me, but apparently DNA studies have confirmed that we're genetically unrelated to the Neanderthal. The human species actually appeared suddenly around 200,000 years ago and has not really evolved physically since then. Number two, 